I built that one. Oh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everybody did. Woo. Oh my God. 40 pound of boost. How you built 40 pound of boost on the two step? Me and Charles out here in the Colorado. We're gonna go do a little bit of converter testing. You got your slip high. Um, unfortunately, the new motor seems to be eating itself. We got a lot of metal and oil, so we may or may not make it back. But we're just gonna catch this a little hit just to get a data log on the converter and see if this thing holds together. Now, it really don't matter if it does or not because uh, it's kind of done the damage that it's already gonna do. So. Uh, we got to figure out a new motor, but just gonna get another stalker. Another stalker and another stalker. Another stalker and another stalker. <laughs> and another stalker. And another. Oil pressure is dropping. Is it? Uh, it's just idle's not that hot. Mm -hmm. fast oil pressure was only 31 psi at 7400 we got a problem it's down to 5 psi but it's gonna be your last rip we're taking apart another motor Oh, damn. Oh, snap. Ah, I think it might have pressurized the coolant system just a smidge, boys. I'm going to back away from this radiator, to be honest with you. All right, y'all, we got the Colorado inside. We're going to be yanking this motor out and inspecting it. Hopefully, ain't nothing too trash, but if it is, we fully expect it, so... Worst case, we do have another Gen 4 we got right here that uh, we'll be going back in stock. We'll gap the rings and that'll be it. But uh, yeah, we're going to knock this out. Bolts out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. They're still hanging on. Huh? It's still attached. No, it's not. There it went. There ain't a torque murder guy in this world that nails it first time. Oh, thanks. My guy did. <laughs> Nailed it. Hold on. Forgot to ground. Try. Let's get... Damn. How high does that go? It's pretty damn high. Pretty damn high? Why? Because let's bang that oil pan off, good. Put it up in the sky like a spaceship, good. Let's, let's see. Shoo. I'm a, I think that might be it. Back hey, up. Wait, is it still going? It's still going. I can't hit it. Out of a K5 that thing gonna go straight. It's gonna bust the seal out the shaft right there. I, I, I don't really wanna go any higher. It should suffice. Bust her loose. She's yeah. been a good girl. Hey! It's time for her to die. Yes, she <laughs> <laughs> and it's time for you to die. Let's see how much metal we get, boys. Ready for the shit show? <laughs> Look at it. Look at it swirl. Oh, that's a good paint color. Kind of, oh, damn. That's like, you ever watch Deep Your Color? People, people yeah. pay good money for that. Happy Bearings by Bob yeah. Ross. Dude, you had me laughing at that. Oh. Oh, baby, Charles, you ruined that. Thank you. Two miles on her, bud. She didn't go 20. <laughs> she didn't go 20. <laughs> Talon made it that long, didn't he? Damn, Talon made it 18. <laughs> oh my God. What is it, boy? <laughs> Oof. Oh no. Oh no. Hell oh, yeah. yeah. That's so much metal. I learned my lesson from last time sticking my camera under that. Shit's cached. Hashtag Brazzers. Dang. Hell, let me hear. 
that's from the first engine. <laughs> <laughs> that that was that was the that was the landing engine. Ah oh, dang. Well, let's get this wind destroyed up. Let's see what happens. Oh, they're fing blue. What is this? It's a rod bearing. God dang. Probably because it's from that man and started it. How many rods are still good? Well, this side's good. This one's blue. This one's blue. That one's blue. Uh, oh, oh, you got drip. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. That, that was close. close. That was close. It, no, it's on top of your iron board. Oh, let me get you a towel. I love you, Daddy. All right, y'all, it's the next day. I'm back at the shop, and I'm gonna spend a little bit of time getting it cleaned up and getting this motor on an engine stand. We went ahead and pulled the converter off, and I think Charles is getting that shipped out today for a restall. That way we can try and get this thing dialed in before streetcar takeover. As you've seen, it looked like the rods was uh, pretty well shot. They was pretty cheap, so it's not that big a deal. I think it was 250 bucks, something like that on eBay. So there's not much point in even trying to reuse those. Yeah, we could have them checked and all that, but uh, we'll just get a new set if that's what we have to do. Otherwise, it's going back with the stock Gen 4 stuff and it's getting turned down. I know it sucks, but we need to get this truck back to its former glory. This thing's went rounds for two years and it's lived and it's been happy. And it's been fast. So we've been struggling here recently trying to turn this thing up. Like I said, it made 40 pounds on the two-step. That's insane. It ain't gonna hold up to that. So either we gotta turn it down or we gotta get our shit together. So let's go ahead and get this thing on a stand and see what else is messed up. All right, so I got the engine on the stand here. Got it flipped over. Let's take a little bit better look at what's going on here. Check that out. It pushed that bearing clean out the side of this rod. As you can see, we got some coloration going on on this one. That one looks all right for the most part. Ain't really seeing no heat marks or nothing like that. Those two, they definitely got some coloration going on. This left one, you can see it's rainbowed there. That one don't look too bad. And these two look fine to the eye from what I can tell as well. So hopefully the pistons are okay. We'll see. They, they was a little bit more expensive. They're the Summit Pro LS pistons. Uh, if they are, they are. If they're not, they're not. We'll see. We knew it was hurt before we ran it last time up a road there. I mean, we seen five PSI oil pressure. So if something is hurt, we can't blame the motor for it because we knew it. But let's go ahead and let's try and pop this cap off and let's check and see what this bearing's doing. All right, let's yank his cap off here. Give her another little bump. fingernail definitely be catching some stuff on that <laughs> but this see if we can't push this rod down just a smidge there we go let's try and peel this bearing off this journal oh man let's place your bets on what this crank looks like There she goes. Now let's see if we can't pick this bearing up off this thing. She ain't looking too hot, boys. She ain't looking too hot. There she goes. She's seen better days. Damn. 
I guess that's the end of the road for this motor. It's been through hell and back. And when I say that, I mean it. Like, this thing's been overheated numerous times. Never once checked deck, machine, nothing. It's had a hone job a couple times. We've gapped the rings and stuff, but like, I think that motor's finally just said enough's enough. So, we got this contestant up next. Whether we keep the stock Gen 4 internals in it or go ahead and put some more cheap rods and pistons in it, I don't know yet. Subscribe if you want to find out. We really appreciate it if you would. We're trying to grow this year 50,000 plus, maybe even 100,000 subscribers. Is it doable? It's got to be. It, it has to be. But only if you guys think what we have here is cool and what we're doing is cool. We're trying to hang with the big dogs in this YouTube game. And it's hard. You got to have money to play. And uh, we're broke. So, like I said, we'll get this thing buttoned up here in the next week or so converter is shipped off so we got to wait on the turnaround time on that still got to figure out if we're ordering the rods like i said the vic over here now can't show you much on what's going on with the vic but the vic's still here be ready for this thing because it's going to come out better than it's ever been and the van's doing great i've been having some clutch issues like y'all seen in that last video uh getting second gear it just wasn't about it so I've been playing and adjusting it, and I think I finally got it. Realistically, I just need to go beat on it a little bit more. I've been trying. It's a fine line of beating on it and trying to save it till the event. So I'd rather it break now and we have a little bit of time to get it fixed than to break it at the event. So but like I said, I appreciate y'all for watching, subscribing, liking, commenting, everything. So until next time, peace.